Hollywood stars who turned down huge Disney parts. Disney is arguably the biggest name in entertainment, but that isn't to say every Hollywood star jumps at the chance to appear in one of its movies. In fact, there have been a number of notable names over the years to turn down a part in a Disney film. Indeed, sometimes roles that have been made famous by a particular actor were originally earmarked for someone else entirely. So some of the following names may shock you. Patrick Stewart Established thespian Patrick Stewart is perhaps best known for his portrayal as Captain Jean-Luc Picard in Star Trek The Next Generation. Not unfamiliar with any number of movie genres, Stewart was nonetheless unconvinced about the merits of not one, but two Disney roles. So much so that the Englishman turned both down. Both roles that Stewart reportedly refused came up during his celebrated run upon the Enterprise. The first was as Cogsworth, the grandfather clock in Beauty and the Beast. The second was as the bad guy Jafar in Aladdin. However, Stewart did later take up the option to work with the studio, going on to voice the character of Mr. Woolensworth in Chicken Little. Woody Allen Woody Allen established himself as one of the most successful writers and directors in movie history, with hits such as Midnight in Paris and Manhattan. Of course, he starred in many of his own movies and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor in Annie Hall. Intriguingly, Allen was involved in somewhat of a tug-of-war between Disney and rival producer DreamWorks to voice major roles in movies. You see, he turned down Disney, passing on the opportunity to voice Tantor and Tarzan, and instead he took a starring turn in DreamWorks' Ants, all because the company reportedly promised to distribute any movies he made himself in the future. Tim Curry Tim Curry has played some memorable roles down the years, perhaps most notably that of Dr. Frankenfurter in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, and the English actor has lent his voice to a host of well-known characters, including Ebenezer Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. So it's perhaps unsurprising that Curry was approached by Disney to voice Simba's nemesis, Scar, in The Lion King. As we know, The Lion King has subsequently become one of Disney's most popular animated movies, spawning a live-action remake and a popular stage production. However, Curry had to turn down the role of Scar due to scheduling conflicts. The part was eventually played, memorably, by another English actor, Jeremy Irons. Eddie Murphy Eddie Murphy has starred in many family favorites, including Dr. Doolittle, the Shrek series, and The Nutty Professor. Indeed, the actor and comedian has a bulging back catalog of movies. Yet another family smash Murphy could have added to his filmography was Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Who Framed Roger Rabbit was groundbreaking in its time in the 1991 release due to the combination of live action and cartoon scenes. Yet the lead male role of Eddie Valiant went to English actor Bob Hoskins reportedly because Murphy demanded too much money. The movie was a smash, and Murphy reportedly regretted his decision to price himself out of the role. Billy Crystal Toy Story is one of the most beloved animated film franchises of all time. With four films in the series to date, it tells the tale of a lovable collection of toys led by Woody and Buzz Lightyear, voiced by Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, respectively. Yes, Spaceman Buzz Lightyear is undoubtedly one of the stars of the movie series. But according to reports, it was Billy Crystal who was originally earmarked for the role, and he turned it down for unknown reasons. Crystal did go on to play Mike Wazowski in Monsters, Inc., and he later said his decision concerning Buzz was, the only regret I have in the business of something I passed on. Warren Beatty Warren Beatty is not a name that you'd imagine associated with Disney. Indeed, the actor has played hard-hitting roles including Bonnie and Clyde, Bugsy and Reds. Believe it or not, though, the iconic actor was targeted by Disney for a role in Aladdin. Yes, Beatty reportedly turned down the part of Iago, the comic parrot sidekick of Aladdin. And the man who eventually voiced the bird, Gilbert Gottfried, claimed that Beatty had refused it because it reminded him of one of his previous parts in a flop movie. That movie, in fact, was Ishtar, which he did alongside Dustin Hoffman. Lily Tomlin Now director of The Incredibles, Brad Bird originally completed voice work for Edna Mode herself with the intention of asking Tomlin to later fill in the role. However, Tomlin was so impressed with what Bird had produced that she said she couldn't improve on it. So that was the end of that. Gregory Peck Gregory Peck is regarded as one of the golden greats thanks to his starring roles in movies such as To Kill a Mockingbird and Roman Holiday. 
And although a Disney role was never something that Peck could include on his resume, things could have been very different. You see, Peck had the honor of having a role specifically written for him in the Disney smash Pocahontas. But upon learning more, Peck used his experience to convince producers that it would be much better suited for a woman. Old Man River therefore became Linda Hunt's grandmother Willow. Michael Douglas As the son of screen legend Kirk Douglas, Michael Douglas knows a thing or two about the movie industry. But even second-generation actors can make a mistake from time to time. Douglas admitted his regret at passing on the chance to voice a character in the incredibly popular Frozen movie. Yes, while making an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden, Douglas spoke honestly about the mistake he'd made in passing up the opportunity. Douglas told Corden he couldn't remember the part specifically, although it was likely Duke of Wesselton or perhaps Anna's and Elsa's father. Either way, it would have been a lucrative role. Jack Nicholson One star you definitely wouldn't associate with cuddly Disney films is Jack Nicholson, who's played a host of menacing bad guys down the years. Unsurprisingly, it was a dark role that Nicholson was approached to play for Disney, that of Hades, god of the underworld, in Hercules. Alas, Nicholson never did get to voice Hades, and instead it was James Woods who filled the role. We wrote the villain Hades as Jack Nicholson, remembered director and writer John Musker. Unfortunately, Nicholson's financial demands for the role were too high, and so the part went to Woods, who was a delight to work and invent with, according to Musker. Julie Andrews the movie business is littered with examples of stars turning down sequels, often believing the second movie will be a dud, and often those hunches are correct. But there are actors who have appeared in sequels and in different parts from the first movie. Sadly, Julie Andrews is not one of those. You see, Andrews cemented her legendary status as Mary Poppins in the 1964 Disney film of the same name. And 54 years later, she turned down a cameo part in Mary Poppins Returns because she didn't want to steal the thunder of the new star. Director Rob Marshall told Entertainment Weekly, Andrew said, This is Emily Blunt's show, and I really want it to be Emily's show. Will Smith Sometimes actors make the right choices when turning down a Disney part. That can especially be true if they take up another role with the entertainment giant in a movie that enjoys considerably more success. This was the case when Will Smith reportedly turned down the role of Holt Ferrier in Disney's live-action remake of Dumbo. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories, jojostories.com.